Oh, hey guys! Me and me and my beaver friend here. We're here to show you that we saw the amazing things you built yesterday, and we really liked it. And Beaver knows the things about building, and uh, we wanted to show you a tool that you can use to build more amazing things. And uh, we're gonna have Dr. Patterson help us out because he has the hands to work the rulers and whatnot. But you're gonna create. Houses and mansions and yeah, that too. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw the front of your building using a solid dark line, like a skinny marker is probably the best. And you can draw the front of your building to look like whatever you want. Just make sure it fits on the paper. We can scale it up and down a little bit. But we're going to create this. I'm going to do a super simple example. <clears throat> the front of my building is going to be a house. I'm going to make the side here. And I'm going to make a side here. And I'm going to connect those sides with a straight line. Connect those sides with a straight line. Now, if my lines don't quite line up, like this line here or this line here, that's okay because they touch. But this one here, I'm going to need to close. So I want to take my ruler and bring it back up here and close that. And it's still not quite closed, so I'm going to bring it back up here and close that. It's really important that the outside of your house be a solid shape because it's going to cut that out of cardboard. Then I want a little window here that I'm going to have it cut out. And I'm going to make this window one inch by one inch by one inch. So I'm using the distance on the ruler. And I just go from three to four or from four to three. And that helps me make it almost the same size. And you can see that all of my lines lined up that time. So that'll be a little house cut out. Now I'm going to make this for mouse. So my doorway, I think I'm going to make an oval like that. And I think that'll be good for the first side of my house. Okay, Dr. Patterson's put the scan, put the, put the sketch rather. Boop. Boop. Okay, Dr. Patterson's put the sketch in the laser cutter. We're going to use a laser to cut the front of my house out of cardboard. That's exciting. Okay, we're getting ready to see the laser cut the cardboard. We're just waiting for the button to tell us it's ready to go. We're waiting on you, button. Come on, button. We're just waiting on the laser to tell us it's ready to cut. And when it's ready to cut, that button will flash. This seems to be a good time to talk about safety. We're gonna to wanna to make sure we stand back from the laser. We don't really wanna to touch the table, especially while it's working or while it's thinking or like right now, because that might confuse it. I don't know. Come on, button. <gasps> there we go, the button's flashing. Do you see it? Do you see it? It says it's gonna take 30 seconds to cut out my house. I'm so excited. I'm gonna very gently and carefully push that button. This might be the first mouse-made laser house ever. I sure hope it doesn't catch fire. Ooh, look at it go. Dr. Patterson, are you watching this? 
Smells like, smells like campfire, sure. We're gonna turn on the auxiliary fan. This is already a really noisy video. It's already ready already. When we take things out of the laser, we're gonna let Dr. Patterson do it. So removing things from the laser cutter is something that adults will help you with, but immediately after it's cut, it's no longer hot. We can see that we've got the hole that we cut along with the little window and the other pieces are left right in here. We could still use those if we want. It's perfect. I can see you. So now you could build, you could design the other walls to build the rest of the set.